And... You know, I barely even really want to talk about this, because it's just, it's so impossible. And it's so ridiculous. But let's just cross it off a list. So according to Steve-O, yeah, that's right, Steve-O, formerly of Jackass fame, uh, he had a meeting with Dana White. Let's just go through the quotes here. This is from an interview with TMZ, which obviously lends even more, uh, you know, realism and reliability to it. But then again, it was a video interview, so the quotes are taken direct from Steve-O. Uh, Steve-O said, I'm sick of being overlooked for my potential as a cage fighter, all right? And with Justin Bieber trying to pick a fight with Tom Cruise, I really don't think Tom Cruise is up for it. And he claims to have spoken with UFC President Dana White. Uh, he says, as soon as I find out, I got him a van. I love the fact that Steve-O specifies there was a van he drove. Because <laughs> I'm sure he's got all kinds of crazy shit in that van. Uh, I got him a van, I went out to Las Vegas, I had a little chat with Dana White, and he agreed that if Tom Cruise doesn't step up, someone has to fill the cage with Justin Bieber, and I'm the guy. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Uh, I mean, A, I feel like the UFC would just lose so much, you know, legitimacy, uh, even, even making this fight. And secondly, I mean, Is there that many people that want to see this fight? I mean... It's not as if Justin Bieber is a particularly good fighter. It's not as if Steve-O is a particularly good fighter. Steve-O is great at taking punishment, on the other hand. Well, I'll give him that. But, I mean, honestly, we could just pop in a Jackass DVD if we want to see that. Um, now, booking this fight, will I mean, it, it'd be like uh, CM Punk versus Mike Jackson, but with worse technique. Yeah, can you believe that? So no, this is not going to happen. Uh, Ombet though does have uh, b betting lines for this fight. Should it happen, with uh, Bieber at 140 and Stevo at 3.0, so three times the, the money, uh, which is not a bad bet on Stevo. I mean, if this fight in fact does happen, hey, I say put that money on Stevo because you never know what he might pull out of his pocket. But yeah, I let's move on from that. It's pretty ridiculous.